You are what I'm looking for. Today I wanted to share with you a little bit of information about my template books. I have five books that I've designed and printed myself and turned them into a complete collection for crafters. So the inspiration behind these books was I was always looking for ways to use my paper and looking for fun projects and you know, I'd watch things on YouTube and write down measurements in a little notebook. And I just, I found that I struggled with the measurements and trying to keep track of my notes later on if I went back to use them. So this collection was inspired by crafting and created originally for myself to be able to make projects. And then I found that many of you had the same desire as me to have a quick and easy reference to create projects with everything you need in one place. So I have five books and I'm going to share them a little walkthrough with you so that you can see what it is that I'm offering. And many of you have my template books already, and I thank you for your support for my small business. I truly appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to share with you basically what started it all. What started all of this was my Genvelope template reference book. A little play on my name and envelopes. So let's do a little walkthrough of these books and their contents. And I'm also going to share with you a free shipping code. So if you're interested in purchasing my books, I have a code for free shipping so that you can get in on some of that. And I also have a sale on my website. They're currently on sale. It's a pretty good discount when you buy the bundle. And then additionally, if you don't want to purchase physical books and you just want to download them and print them yourselves, that's available too. And it's a really great price for the complete collection as a download. So I'll leave everything in the description box down below where you'll find links to each individual book and the complete collection as well, physical copies or digital copies. All right, so let's start with the first book. This is the Genvelope Template Reference Book, and we're basically just talking about envelopes in this book. So it is spiral bound. You've got a cover, and you also have this nice clear acetate cover to protect the book. Okay, a little bit about me and my journey in paper crafting and a table of contents. So inside of this book, we have a template for A2, envelopes and card bases, A7, mini slimline, slimline, A8, a four inch squared, a five inch squared, and a six inch squared. So here we are with the first template in the book. This is the A2, and it's labeled in the headers and the footers and it tells you what size envelope it creates as well as what size card fits inside of it. So the envelope is the final measurement of the size. So we have a graphic look at the envelope coming along and then the steps. So you have the envelope steps and the measurements. Okay, so it's, it's fairly basic. If you've ever made an envelope before, it's just uh, a quick reference. And if it's not something that you're good at, this is a wonderful tool to be able to rely on to create perfect envelopes every time. Okay, so we're going to flip to the next page, and this is also part of the A2 collection, and it just gives us measurements on how to cut cardstock. I know it seems very simple, but for some people, they struggle with numbers and measurements. So I give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to create a side folding and a top folding, and there's a little diagram of what the cards look like. And then also you have card layers in quarter inch increments. So basically what that means is if you want, you know, your matte layers on your cards and you've got them from biggest to smallest and exactly what size you'll need to layer up your pattern papers and things on your card. Okay. 
to some people it might be basic to some people this is like gold so you do you for me it really it's really helpful I don't have to guess or figure things out everything is in one place we have the same thing for a7 there are two styles of mini slimline we have a policy style which is like a little coin envelope okay and then we have a business style which is a normal regular envelope for mini slimline okay and then we have the card bases and layers and then for a slimline envelope we have the same thing it's kind of like a large coin envelope and then we have the business style envelope and then our card base and layers as well okay and now we have the a8 and for this one you get the twofer as well you get the policy style which is a really nice large envelope and you use 12 by 12 cardstock for this and it uses a whole sheet so this is really cool i really like this template so we have the coin envelope the gigantic style policy and then we have a business style so that's fun okay same idea for the card bases and then four inch squared five inch squared and six inch squared okay and then at the back of this book you've got some grid paper so if you wanted to create your own template or figure some things out you can use the grid paper to design your own template whatever you want to do or if ever I have another tutorial that doesn't have a template and you really love it you can write down the measurements in your book here okay and then lastly in the back here you have an extra large envelope this is a handmade envelope that my mother makes for all of my books so you get a little bit of made with love inside of here and you'll just get a random envelope it's my mom picks out the patterns whichever she feels like making and adds them to the books so you have a large gusseted pocket and what I do with mine is I go through the entire book and I make one of each envelope in the coordinating color to the template. I find that's really helpful. So I'll make an A2 blue envelope and then I'll make an A7 green envelope and so on. And then I'll stick them in the back of the template book so that I have a quick reference as to the size and what it's going to look like when it's done. And it just keeps everything in one place. And I really love that. Okay, so that is the Genvelope template reference book. The second book is the Chop It Up book. So Chop It Up, as many of you know, I have a huge series on my YouTube channel. I've been chopping up paper for a couple of years now, and I continue building on it regularly. I'm always creating new Chop It Up videos to get you to be inspired to chop up some of your 12 by 12 paper. Now, this Chop It Up, it obviously doesn't have all of the templates for every Chop It Up video I've ever made, but it does have some of the very basic ideas inside of it. So let me show you. So again, you have your, your cover and you have your acetate sheet, a little, you know, hello and a discussion about the book. And then we have some simple ideas to cutting up your 12 by 12 papers. So some of my best videos on YouTube are the simplest. And like this one, for example, cutting your 12 by 12 paper into four sheets to get six by six pattern paper. So if you wanted to do swaps with your friends or sell things online and create your own collections, you could definitely do that using this basic idea. So you have some uh, DIY six by six paper pads, some four by six card front panels, um, slimline panels. There are two options for slimline card panels. Okay. And all the steps are below and the measurements telling you what the project yields and how to cut it. Now we have some mini slimline card panels. We have a bunch of tags. These are two by four inch tags. These are three by five tags. A uh, bunch of bookmarks, storage dividers, uh, mini cards, 
mini envelopes. So you'll get four envelopes out of one sheet of 12 by 12, which is pretty cool. And then there are the steps for the mini envelopes out of six by six paper. Super cool. And then you have some tea pockets. Okay, this is part one of the tea pocket, part two of the tea pocket, step by step, exactly what to do. Another tea pocket, this is the double tea pocket. And then an extra large gift bag out of 12 by 12. So all the steps and everything you need are here. There's also coordinating videos on my YouTube channel for each and every one of these projects. And then, of course, you have you know, your grid paper in the back, should you want to add your own template or add something that I've created that is not in the book. So that is Chop It Up. Next, we have a book about boxes and bags. Okay, similar idea to the rest. You got the acetate sheet, the spiral bound coils, and cardstock backing, and a little bit about the book. It's fairly straightforward. It's boxes and bags. So throughout all of my template books, like the Gemvelope, for example, and this one, I've color coordinated the projects. So in my Gemvelope template reference book, the A2 card is blue. And now here is an A2 card box to be able to coordinate with that project. So I've done the same for A2, A7, A8, slimline, mini slimline, and four, five, and six inch squared. Okay, we'll get to the bags in a moment. So for the A2 card box, it's the same sort of uh, font and style, and let me grab the other book to show you what I mean. So we've got our A2 envelope and then an A2 card box. Everything coordinates together within the book. So if we kind of skip over to A7, let's go to the next page. A7 is gonna be green, same idea, okay? I really enjoyed doing that. Okay, so A2, we have our box measurements, what it fits when it's done, and what else do we have here? We have the instructions, super simple and easy, and also coordinating YouTube videos for these te for these templates. So we've got A2, A7, A8, slimline, mini slimline, and all of these yield a one inch box. Okay, so let's go back to the front now. Let's go take a look at the bags. So here I have four bag templates and these are all designed to use 12 by 12 paper to create some gift bags and there are coordinating YouTube videos as well. So the bags have three pages per template. This tells you what size bag it's going to create and then the visualization of how the box is coming together with all the steps and how you put it together. Some people are visual learners and need to see sort of like how it comes together. I know I'm that way. I mean, you could put a bunch of words, I'll read them and understand them, but to visually see what's happening, it, it really helps pull it all together, okay? So, and I have the same thing for another bag. This one creates a five by six and a quarter inch bag. And then this one creates a four by five inch bag. And then the last one creates a three and three by three and three quarter inch bag. Okay, and then once again, you've got your grid paper in the back. And that is it for boxes and bags. The next book we have is Paper Engineering. I feel like this is my favorite book. So let's take a peek into here. These are called baronial style envelopes and we'll get into that in a second. So let's open up. Now this one is jam packed. We have all of the standard envelopes with their color coordination as the rest of the books. And so here we have pocket cards. Now let me show you what a pocket card is. This is what a pocket card looks like. It's sort of like a little 
pocket basically that a card goes inside of. Okay, and then it'll give you the card measurement, the complete size of the pocket card when it's done, all of the steps, and this is a really fun project. So I have pocket cards for a two, a seven, a eight, slim line, mini slim line, four, five, and six inch squared. Okay, and now in part two of this book, we have baronial style envelopes. Okay, so you have all of the same A2, A7, A8, and so on size envelopes. And let's go take a peek there. So here we have the baronial style envelope. And this one gives you measurements and instructions and a great visualization. It's very super easy and simple. And all you need is a ruler and a pencil for this one. So super simple, exact measurements, uh, all the steps. And again, coordinating YouTube videos for these. And this is what you'll get in the end. So this one has two pages per template. And I didn't bother putting the card bases in this one with the layers and stuff because it's in the first book. So most people that enjoy my books start off with Genvelope and then work their way into the rest. So if you're just going to buy one book, the Genvelope template reference is a great place to start. It's sort of the originator of everything. And then the add-ons, the other books you know, are, are really great to have. And then of course, in the back of this book, we've got our beautiful handmade pocket. So once again, this is where I would create all my samples and stick them inside of the envelope so that I have them stored for future use. And it's just a fun project, really. It's just fun to create. If you don't have any ideas or you know, you don't have any mojo, then come to the book, pull out some cardstock and get to chopping up and make some envelopes. The last template book is the most recent one, and this one is 3D Projects. Now, I painstakingly took a lot of time and effort to create these particular projects so that we don't have to use dyes. You know, sometimes you have these really cool but super expensive dyes that create fun cards. Well, the idea behind this was to avoid spending all that extra money when all we need is a scoreboard, a paper trimmer, scissors, and adhesive. It's super fun, super easy. And so here we are. I've got uh, shadow box cards and pop-up box cards for A2, A7, A8, Slimline, and Mini Slimline. Your steps and measurements and a visual guide, where to cut, score, and glue, it's super easy and then this is what we've got I also gave you the paper layers to cover the box so if you wanted to cover this front piece okay and then the back piece and then the insert piece and all the way around I gave you all of those measurements so that you could decorate this plain box into something really extra special now we're gonna get into pop-up box cards a pop-up box card looks like this okay they just pop open super fun super cool they fold nice and flat but they create something super fun and I have some t some tutorials on this as well on my YouTube channel so we've got an a2 all the steps and measurements sort of the look of the box as it comes together with all of the steps and the great thing about this is that I created these sizes to be able to fit inside of an A2 envelope. Okay, so this exact project, once it folds nice and flat, will fit into an A2 envelope. And then same with the rest of them. This will fit exactly folded nice and flat into an A7 envelope. So we have A7 and so on. You get the idea. Color coordinated. You know, did I give you paper layers? I did. I gave you decorative paper layers inside of here. So I gave you all of the measurements for like, you know, the back part and the front and the little flaps and everything so that you can decorate this and make it look extra awesome. And then on the inside, there's a little like um, this piece. <laughs> there's this piece tucked away on the inside so that you can adhere little critters and make a scene so when the box opens it's super three-dimensional and super awesome. 
So these are really, really fun projects to make. And I have that for, you know, all of the sizes and they get bigger and into slimline and mini slimline and, and so on. And then of course you've got the design your own templates in the back. I didn't put an envelope pocket in here because these projects can get pretty bulky. And if you were going to make one of everything and then put it in the back, I thought, you know, it's going to get pretty big and the envelope obviously is not going to be able to hold it. So I didn't put an envelope in this book. All right. So lastly, when you buy the complete collection of my books, this book comes free. So this is not for sale. It is a free gift only that comes when you buy the complete collection of either the digital download or the physical book. So this is just a little way for you to cut up different sizes of pattern paper. So this gives you the measurements to cut up a six by six piece of cardstock and what it will yield. Okay, so you've got a few bonuses in there. Same idea, there's another way to cut up six by six paper and how you can use them. So again, this is a free book when you purchase the complete collection. Okay. So that's it for today's video. I hope that this has given you some insight into my template books, what they're for, um, and then you can decide if they're valuable to you or not. Check out the link in the description down below for free shipping. Uh, currently, the stuff is on sale. We do ship to Canada and the U.S., and the free shipping will apply to the U.S. residents as well. I know sometimes when you purchase stuff from a different country, for example, Canadians, we never get the free shipping offer. Um, but I'm going to give that to you guys. So if you're interested in this collection, free shipping in the description box down below. I will leave a playlist of Chop It Up videos up on screen. And you can see, I think there's almost 80. There's 70 plus anyway, 70 plus videos of Chop It Up inspiring you to cut up those paper pads. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend it here with me. I appreciate the support as always. Have yourself a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!